everyone, my name's Sarah and as you would have seen from the title, I am cooking with caramel chocolate today. So you may have seen the crazy frenzy going around surrounding this kind of chocolate. I don't know what's going on, but everyone seems to want it. It's always sold out, so when you do see it, you gotta buy some. So I thought today I would um, try this out, see if I like it or not. So I was thinking it might work well in banana cake or banana bread. So I was thinking it might work well in banana bread. So today I'm going to be adding caramel chocolate chunks into banana bread muffins. So we'll see how this goes. Um, definitely a first for me, but I've, I've used chocolate in other muffins before and I think it'll taste good. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've got all my ingredients laid out. So what you'll need is two overripe bananas, uh, two eggs, some vanilla essence, milk, plain flour, self-raising flour, brown sugar, your caramel milk, and some butter. So the first step is to sift the um, flours together into a um, large mixing bowl. Except I actually don't have a sifter, so this probably isn't gonna work, but you know, we're gonna give it a go. So I'm just going to do it without sifting it and um, hope for the best, hopefully it's not too bad. So the first ingredient is um, one and three quarters of a cup of self-raising flour. So one cup and then three quarters. Quarter of a cup of plain flour. So I'm just going to stir those together because it says to sift them together and I want to make sure the um, both the flours are all mixed. Now the recipe also calls for cinnamon, fortunately I don't actually have any cinnamon so feel free to add a teaspoon of that um, at this point. So I feel like banana bread definitely needs cinnamon but I cannot be bothered going to the shop and getting some and coming back and yeah. Anyway, stir in the sugar. So it's just brown sugar and two thirds of a cup. So I've got my uh, third cup measure and I'll just put in two of them. Like so. Also, I really do need to find an apron. I had a look at the shops yesterday and the only ones I could find were like black or gray. There was a denim one that was okay, but I'm on the hunt for something pink or just with a bit more life to it really. So it sounds pretty stupid, but I would like something a bit more exciting than just a black apron. And I think I, I really do need an apron with all the cooking um, just so I don't get a mess all over my clothes. Anyway, topic for another day, I will be on the hunt for an apron. So the next thing is make a well in the center, like so. So you just have a little hole in the middle and then put that to the side. So I will mash the bananas. So I've just got two bananas here. Uh, this one's not quite as ripe, but it, is, it will do for the time being. So I just have to add these into a small bowl, mash them up. I'll just, I think I might break them up to start off with to help um, help with the mashing. I've got my two bananas in here and I'm just going to mash them up as much as I can. Sounds, but anyway, definitely need banana to make banana bread. I remember I used to make this all the time with, with my grandma. She used to put pineapple in it, I think, as well. Anyway, so we've got the 
um, mashed banana now. Looks kind of like baby food. But um, yeah, so that's all mashed. So the next step is to add um, milk and melted butter. So, so I've just got my uh, soy milk here that I'm going to use. It's just the milk that I prefer to use. It's completely up to you if you want to use cow's milk or any other milk alternative. For this recipe, it will work just as good. So, so it's a half a cup of milk. A bigger bowl, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be all right. Um, so I've got 100 grams of butter here, so I'm just going to cut it in half and then put it in the bowl and then straight into the microwave to melt it down. Anyway, I just got this tray from Kmart. It was $3.20, so that's really cheap. So I don't even know how many of this thing, <laughs> recipe actually makes, so might have a lot of leftover because I only have the one tray. But it also says this tray is non-stick, but I think I'm just gonna add a bit of butter and just grease each section, just um, in case it knocks. Definitely do not want it to be sticking. So there we have it. I've just um, put a bit of butter in each of it just so it doesn't stick. Also, I um, have to preheat the oven at 180 degrees, so I'll do that now. So I think the butter has cooled down a bit now, so I'm just going to add that into the this odd looking concoction of um, milk and mashed banana. And that just got even weirder looking, but you know, it's gonna taste good at the end. So we push through how weird it looks now. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to add this to the flour here. Ugh, that sounds really bad. <laughs> and then just fold it in before we add the eggs. So it's just gonna be two eggs um, going into here. That's what it should start to look like, starting to form um, together. So now I have to add two eggs and I'm also going to put in the vanilla extract as well. So I'm just going to add in um, one teaspoon of the vanilla essence. Just to give it some flavor. The recipe doesn't call for it, but because I don't have the cinnamon, I think um, it needs some sort of flavor in there. So I'm just gonna crack the eggs into a separate bowl just in case I get any um, shell in there as well. Definitely do not want that in your muffins. And then add that to your mixture. So, and that is what the final um, product looks like. So that's ready to go. Um, so the last thing I'm gonna do is add in the caramel. So I think I'm just gonna use um, two thirds of a block and then I'll keep the rest for later. Probably gonna eat it. But yeah, anyway, if you haven't tried it yet, this is what it looks like. I think people have to describe it as kind of like condensed milk.
try a piece before I add it to the mixture just to see what all the controversy is about, why people love it, why people think it's overrated. So here we go, first impressions. Yeah, that's actually tastes like caramelized, caramelized white chocolate condensed milk. It is good, but I still think it's overrated. So anyway, um, taste tested it. It is pretty good. If you um, can get your hands on it, definitely give it a try. It is really good, um, but I don't think it's as good as some people are claiming it to be. That's just my opinion. So uh, last step before going in the oven is adding it into your mixture. And then just giving it a quick stir through just so it'll be evenly spread throughout your um, muffins. So now I'm just going to add some into each muffin tray, just trying to get them as even as possible. Not quite sure how much they're going to rise, so I'll just put a little bit more in just so it's not too little, but hopefully it will not stick. So I'm just going to add a couple of chunks of the leftover carrot milk to each of them. Just so it's got some chocolate on the top as well. Here we go, so we're gonna put that in the oven now. So I have made quite a bit of a mess here. I will clean it up in a moment, but anyway, so we'll take these and put them in the oven. So I think it takes about 45 minutes, so I'm just gonna set the timer, which it's on 45 now, um, and see how they're looking then. I just taken the muffins out of the oven and I think I burnt them a little bit actually but anyway so I'm going to see if I can take them out hopefully they haven't um, stuck so I'm just going to put them on the um, wire rack to oh, there we go oh that worked good they don't look quite like I was expecting but they do look pretty good they look I think they're going to taste good though Hopefully at least. So here we have it, the um, caramel chocolate banana bread muffins. So I'm just going to uh, set everything up for the styling for the photos and then I will uh, pick the camera back up and show you what I'm going to do. So here's the final setup. So I've just cut one of the um, muffins in half on, and then left them on the wire rack and then put the caramel there as well. So that's that's what the final photo will look like. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's watched the video. I really do appreciate all of the support. Remember to like, comment or subscribe. Um, really helps me out with the future of the channel. Um, so yeah, thank you very much and I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed.